Hey there, today we're gonna go over how to set the right settings in your Pinterest profile so that you're up to date with everything that you can do inside your settings to optimize your Pinterest profile. Um, I am Kate with Simple Pin Media. If you want more information about this or a longer tutorial, go to simplepinmedia.com slash 194. That's where you'll get all the podcast show notes and information about Simple Pin Media. Okay, with that, right here, you're gonna click on Edit Profile. And right here, you're gonna have all these settings here that we can go through. Um, your profile picture, you're gonna wanna choose. You can simply hit change. It's a 300 by 300 or 600 by 600. Um, it has to be even one-to-one -one ratio to be uploaded here. You can have your display name here that talks about what your brand name is. This can also be your name, but you wanna make sure that it's very clear based on what people are gonna search for you. So Simple Pin Media, and then I have a little bit about who I am. We can go no longer than 65 characters here. Then we have our username making up our URL right here. And then we have your profile here as well. This can be no longer than 160 characters. Think of this as a place where you're gonna tell people more about who you are and what you do, what you're going to be pinning. Then you have your email address here, and then you can do your phone number, but it will be public. And then if you have a retail location, you can do that there, of course. With account settings, you can have a little bit about yourself here, your basic information. And then here, I will say that they um, have kind of defaulted to Blogger for me, even though I have checked that I am a service provider. It does not stay updated. Don't worry about it. It's not a deal breaker if it doesn't stay that way. This is how you want to log in if you want to get messages and, of course, if you want to deactivate. And then claiming. This is an interesting one here. This is not the same. Um, or actually, this claiming your website is where you get analytics and information, but then they have this RSS here. Um, it pulls in information, latest posts from your website. I've actually been meaning to unclaim this for a while because, um, oh, I don't want to do that then. So they're going to unclaim everything. But I Yes, so I wanna keep that claim. Sorry about that. You wanna keep that claimed here because it shows that you're verified. If you wanna connect an RSS, you would click like this and follow the steps to um, auto publish here, which we do have set up here. I can edit it and I'm actually gonna trash it because I don't really want Pinterest pulling in information anymore just because they pulled in everything was wrong. It was like an auto publish so that if you wanted to have pins just coming onto Pinterest to a particular board, you could do that. It was just a pain. If you do, you basically just have to connect your website and then select the board you want it to be going to. I don't, I wouldn't say do it. It's not really helpful. I would rather hand select my pins. Then you go and go down here to claiming other accounts. Instagram, you can claim it. I have already claimed mine. And then you can choose to auto publish your latest Instagram posts. So I haven't done that yet. So let's walk through that just to see what happens. So I'm going to create a board actually that's going to be Pinterest marketing inspiration. And I don't want to keep this board secret. I want everybody to see it. And um, I don't need dates for anything. So this is optional. Like it can help you plan. I don't know what it's going to help me plan for because Pinterest boards just feel never ending to me. So I'm going to hit create. And then what it will do is it's going to automatically publish all of my, inst uh, my existing Instagram posts for that. If I don't want that to happen, which for this is kind of a, it's a little bit of a, um, I'm playing around with it. So I that would be a lot. So I'm going to say no, and I'm going to hit enable. And we're going to see what happens here if it actually does. Okay, so auto publish is enabled. So I'm going to check back on this. I'm going to click here. So obviously there's no pins added to it just yet. And if I want to update the board, I'm going to have to make sure and add a lot of this stuff. I'm going to go back and do it later since we're just talking about settings right now. Okay, so we've talked about Instagram. If you have an Etsy shop, I would highly re recommend you claim that as well. And then YouTube as well, add your profile picture. Um, if I hit unclaim, I'm, I'm not gonna unclaim, but for some reason it doesn't scroll any further here to give me any options. So I'm gonna do, um, I'm gonna go a little, pull my, 
Yeah, it still doesn't do it. So there's something funky with the screen where it's not allowing you to go any further down with YouTube. It's not a deal breaker. I would actually highly recommend you only do videos within the Pinterest profile instead of having things automatically pull in. And the reason for that is, is that people on Pinterest don't watch long term vid- long form video like they do on YouTube. Um, this is bulk uploading of pins, notifications. It's basically just what do you want from on Pinterest, which that all happens under here under the little bell. That's where you'll see a lot of the notifications. Do you want by email? So with this one, I have selected that I want Pinterest announcements and updates. Privacy and data. This is really important for search privacy. Do not check that box because you don't want Pinterest to hide your profile from Google Because what if somebody searches and your profile could show up or a board or a pin, you absolutely want them to show the information to Google so that people can find you. Um, This is just personalization. Do you care about your information being shared? I'm sure I've checked these, but for some reason they just will not stick there. Sure, share, you know, my activity with other ad providers. I'm an ad person too on Pinterest. I would be, I love having that information. So sure, I'll reciprocity, right? Security, two-factor authentication. And here's an interesting thing that you'll want to look at. We talked about this a little bit more in the podcast. So if you want to go deeper into that, that's simplepinmedia.com slash 194. This is where you can see if people have um, uh, the current session who's logged into your account If you do not give your login out to anybody and you come through here and you're like, oh my gosh, this person from South Africa, I don't know who they are. Spoiler alert, I know who this is. She's on my team. She does in fact live in South Africa. So I'm not going to end her activity because I know why she's accessing my account. I have other team members from other locations who access my account in Oregon and in Washington. I'm not very concerned about that. Therefore, I'm not going to end that session. But if you have nobody else logging into your account, it's really, really important that you end that activity and change your password stat. But be very clear and remember, ooh, did I give that to anybody? If you did, go ask them if they've logged in first. And then apps. This is an important one because this keeps track of who has access. I cleaned this up earlier because there was actually some old people that had access to my account. So I just hit revoke access. I use Tailwind, so therefore I do not want to revoke access. I need to figure out who this is exactly. I can't quite remember. And so I'm going to go do some digging. And then actually this might be the Scythe dashboard, one that we use. Um, so for, I will probably revoke access to this because we don't use it anymore. So that's it. There's just these other ones here with tuning your home feed. This is just a user um, friendly tool. So if you have just recently gotten married or had a baby or traveled somewhere and you no longer want to hear about it, you just go, I don't want to hear about that. I'm not interested in blogging tips. But if you are, that says, hey, Pinterest, show this in my home feed. So that's it. Those are the settings inside Pinterest and how to get them set up correctly. If you want more information about Simple Pin Media, just go to simplepinmedia.com. You'll find the Simple Pin Podcast as well as a lot of our freebies, including the Simple Pin Planner, which you can get by going to simplepinmedia.com slash planner.